talking about coats, talking about just how the weather has been changing. Uh, we had a first alert earlier today, Erin Moran. How are things looking now? It uh, doesn't look too bad. We're actually kind of seeing the things, uh, the, uh, the whole event come to an end. There is still some rain ongoing to the east of 35. Pockets of heavier rain, and I heard from my husband just in the last few minutes and just kind of driving the, over the last several hours. He's seen some people, some cars kind of off on the side of the road. So, you know, it has been bad today. It's certainly warranted uh, our weather alert, but most of this is pushing off to the east now. When we look from Paris to Cooper to Sulphur Springs, that's where we're still seeing some of the pockets of heavier rain, uh, some lightning still going on as well. And if we were seeing some small hail, I would think it was there or maybe along the 20 corridor, a little bit closer to Canton right now. But we look at the 12 hour rainfall accumulations. Rainfall hasn't been too terrible. We saw some pockets of heavier rain in Ellis County, into Dallas County, up through Rockwall County, uh, Van Zandt County as well. So most of the heavy rain is pushing to the east. The severe threat is winding down. A lot of us dealing with the cloudy skies. And as we look to ATT Stadium, big game tonight. Arlington sitting at 64 degrees with the east southeast wind at six miles an hour. So I've kept the rain chances in at about 40% as we head through the next hour, 30% by six o'clock and then by seven o'clock down to about 20%. The one thing I will say with first alert future cast uh, as we head into the next hour, we're going to see if we get one more wave of kind of development moving through Tarrant and Dallas County as we head into that six, seven o'clock hour. But remember, we still have this coverage at about 30% by six o'clock. So uh, would certainly still warrant the the precipitation chances, but still generally moving to the east northeast the severe threat should be very limited and then as we head to 10:15, our weather alert will be done we've got partly cloudy skies a cold front working its way in it'll be partly cloudy into tomorrow morning it's going to be chilly though and then as we head through the afternoon partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies north winds and temperatures likely only getting to near 60 degrees it's about 45 at 7 a.m down to about 44 at 8 a.m and then we start to see the temperatures rebounding into that nine and 11 o'clock hour. Once we get to 3 o'clock, we're forecasting a high of 59 at DFW. So generally across North Texas, we're talking about upper 50s and low 60s, which is kind of where a lot of us have been sitting today. But we don't have to contend with the rain tomorrow. And we have a very nice weekend ahead. Saturday, partly cloudy skies with a high of 71. On Sunday, we've got the sunny skies with the temperatures just below that 70 degree mark. This is well above normal for this time of year. And of course, as we head to Saturday, we've got uh, Clyde Warren Park, the tree lighting celebration from three to six. Our Nicole Baker, Doug Dunbar will be out there. Partly cloudy skies, 63 degrees. So, Nicole, you don't need the fur. There you go. I was <laughs> going to say, I'll keep it at home. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday, very, very nice. Monday and Tuesday, we've got those sunny skies. 67 on Monday, 65 on Tuesday, and then partly cloudy by midweek. But uh, a seven day forecast that does not have any rain. My Aaron knows me so well. I, I, I say bring it out anyway. She knows me so well. Thank you, Aaron Moran. Still to come.